Hello everybody, I'm Charlotte Posner and welcome to today's art class. This one's a fun art class, it's for all ages, anyone in the family. We're going to be using this wonderful drawing kit. They're pencils as well as paint, so you're drawing and then we're going to use water over the top to magically make the painting come to life. So let's start. So this race is portrait because your face is like a portrait shape and landscape is long ways because usually a landscape runs along and you can run your, your eye line all along that landscape. So let's keep it portrait today. So we're going to start with pencil and we're going to just draw out where our shapes are going to go. So first of all we're going to draw a vase. We're going to draw a round circle which is like so. So squished round circle like a sausage. You're going to draw a sausage and then you're going to draw a, line, a curved line at the bottom of your piece of paper. And then you're going to draw a corner bottom and the other side to the corner down to the bottom. Then we're going to start drawing our flowers. So we're not just going to draw a little baby flower here and a little baby flower here. We're going to draw big flowers. So let's start by going into the middle and gently with our pencil draw lovely circle lines going out. Taking them all into one point. So we're drawing our petals. And you can draw as many as you like. We're going to do a whole bunch draw. They overlap, don't worry. They can be all different shapes and sizes, it really doesn't matter. And then let's draw our stalks going down into our bars. Really fill the space. So you're really going to fill the top space of your piece of paper. So once you've done your basic drawing, we're going to go in with the colour. So this bit can be quite rough, it doesn't have to be perfect at all. Let's start drawing our colours. You can use whichever colours you like. And a blue, just for now. And then I'm going to move out with my colours, so I'm going to take my orange, follow those lines round. Just the outer lines. Now we've done our outline, we're going to go in with the inside of the petals using a different colour to the outside. And as you can see, my lines don't touch each other. It doesn't matter because we're going to use the magic paintbrush afterwards and everything's going to come to life. So we're going to do three coloured rings going into the centre of our flower. Try not to use the same colour twice in each flower. green for the stalks. Let's add some leaves. Then we're going to take our paintbrush and we're going to go in with the water and paint over the top of our whole artwork. Make sure you keep washing your brush when you use the yellow so we don't mix all the colours together. So I'm going to show you how now. Start with your green, start with one colour only, and just take your paintbrush over the top of your drawing and just start painting with it. As you can see here, I'm drawing into the water as well, so you can actually put the water down first and draw back in.
and then we go in with the background. Now to create our pop, I'm going to go over black and white because I think black and white contrasts very well with pops of colour. Don't forget to always put a shadow on your artwork so that it looks like it's sitting on a base. So we're going to put our pop on a shadow so it's not floating in the air, it's solid on a base. And here you have it, your very own pot of colourful, wonderful flowers. You can create whichever pot you like. So if you wanted to put something else on your pot, you can. If you want to put a message, if you want to make a polka dot, whatever you like, you can create your own pot and your own work of art. Enjoy!